I have three brothers. We're the Brunson brothers, and we did a lot of trumpet playing and got on some national TV shows. We got to meet President Reagan. We did Christmas in Washington, and uh, so. But uh, what happened was we have a brother who's really, really loves legal stuff, and so he decided he wanted to uh, bring a lawsuit. And together as a group, we decided the best thing to do would bring a lawsuit against all those members of Congress that voted against a simple 10-day pause and launch an investigation into the claims and uh, that there were some shenanigans that would have taken place. It was a national security breach is what we felt like it was. So that's what the case is based on. It's this case now in, you call it in front of the Supreme Court, this petition for writ of certiorari is the most power ever that the Supreme Court has because of this case uh, that I think the Supreme Court ever has had. They have the power with this case to remove a sitting president, vice president, and 385 members of Congress. And now this case is not about the outcome of the election. It's not about saying that there's fraud that proves that we should change the outcome. It's simply a, a case where we're saying that there was a major security breach. When 100 witnesses, 100 members of Congress say there needs to be an investigation, and the other members of Congress don't pause for 10 days, but instead charge ahead to certify an electoral vote when there are causes to investigate first to make sure that they are real electoral votes, basically, then they are breaching our national security. So the, the Supreme Court now has the power, if they choose, to remove and bar permanently from holding office the rest of their lives 385 sitting members of Congress, of uh, sitting uh, president and vice president, and bar bar them from ever holding office again, including Mike Pence, the same. And it's simply say, the sim to simplify it, it's the security breach wouldn't have happened if these people had been doing their job, keeping their oath of office, and the security breach was of such a serious nature that they need to be removed and barred from holding office. Another part of this case is they would have